Bye bye WhatsApp. Hello Telegram. If you're finally done with WhatsApp and decided to move across to Telegram, welcome. This is what you've been missing out on. Let's go. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie guy, yeah. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So it seems like many WhatsApp users are finally switching over to Telegram, many citing the latest privacy policy update as the main reason. Now, for my US friends who have no idea what any of that means, well, let me catch you up. Oh, at this point, if you want to skip ahead to the tips and tricks, go ahead and do that. Okay, so I know it seems like the entire world runs iPhones, but the reality is that iOS smartphone shares worldwide is around 15%. Android shares is around 85%. So in the US where iPhone is very, very popular, so you've been using iMessage for your texting, but in the rest of the world where it's predominantly Android, well, WhatsApp has become one of the main instant communication tools. In fact, it became so big that Facebook bought it in 2014 for $19 billion. Now, back in 2016, you had the option not to share your data with Facebook. Many users didn't opt out of that, and for years, they've been sharing their data with Facebook. Now, once again, WhatsApp has updated its privacy policy, but this time, there is no opt out. There is no do not allow. Either accept it by February the 18th, 2021 or stop using WhatsApp. It's as simple as that. Well, it seems like a lot of people have had enough. And since this announcement, my Telegram notifications have been blowing up as more and more of my family and friends are migrating their accounts across to Telegram and simply dumping WhatsApp. Now, it should be noted that WhatsApp messaging encryption has been left untouched. Your messages are still secure, but other bits and pieces around that, well, that's up for grabs by Facebook. So welcome new Telegram users. Let me show you a bunch of tips and tricks that you need to know to make Telegram an awesome experience for you. So sometimes we want to send a message, but we don't want it to make a sound when it appears on the receiving person's phone. Now this could be because they're in a meeting or perhaps they're in different time zones. We haven't really worked it out. So I type my message and I long hold on the send button. And this time I select send without sound. So it arrives without making a noise. Now, whilst we're here, the second option that popped up was the option to schedule a message. So type your message that you want to schedule into the future, long hold on the send button, and this time choose schedule message. Choose a date, choose a time, and click on schedule. Now, if you want to edit or delete a schedule, well, fine. Little icon at the bottom, looks like a calendar. Click on that. There is my good morning message. If I want to edit it, long hold, Press a little pencil at the top. Now I can change that scheduled message or I can actually delete it so it doesn't go out in the future. Have you ever sent something and realized there is a typo or you should have said it a little bit differently? Well, on Telegram, you can actually edit a sent message. So let me show you how to do that. You long hold on a message you've just sent. At the top, you go and you click on that little pencil and then simply go and edit your message. So instead of just hi, well, let's stick a little wavy hand. And there we go. This looks a lot better. Everyone knows that a good message also includes an animated GIF. I mean, that's obvious. So you type at GIF, G-I-F, and then press the spacebar, and now it allows you to search the animated GIFs. So for example, lol, here's the first one. I'm gonna just click on her, and I'm gonna put the little tick mark, and there we go. Now, at YouTube also allows you to search YouTube videos right from the message bar. For me, this didn't work every time, so just a heads up. If I've got a message that I want to save for later or access it on another device, I simply long hold it, forward it to saved messages. And now when I go into my settings, go down to save messages, there is the message. And I can access it from my browser or my computer, for example. This is really, really powerful. We use our Telegram for both work and play. We have family, we have friends, we have work colleagues. So you have the concept of folders. Go into settings, choose folder, give it a folder name, and then assign people that belong in each folder. And that makes it really, really simple to follow conversations and separate your work life, your personal life. They all just neatly in tabs across the top. Right, let's say you want to have a secret conversation with someone. You can do that within Telegram. 
on the three little dots at the top next to their contacts, you can say start secret chat. Now, the difference between this and a regular chat is end-to-end -end encryption. You can't screen record the conversations as you can see right here. You can set a timer to self-destruct and remove videos and photos. And when you delete something on your side, it gets deleted on the other side too. Right, under settings, you've got something called privacy and security. So Telegram takes its security pretty darn seriously, and it gives you a whole bunch of options. The first option I want you to look at is something called passcode lock. When you enable that, it allows you to put a pin, and therefore nobody can simply take your phone, unlock it, and then open up your Telegram and go through your conversations. All you do is you tap the little lock screen at the top. Now, next time you fire up Telegram, it's going to ask you to either use your fingerprint or put in that passcode. Now, next up, it allows you to enable two-step verification, two-step authentication, two-factor authentication, whichever way you want to look at it, it gives you that facilities. And then it shows you which devices you're currently logged in at because you can use Telegram on multiple devices. And I love this feature, it's the account self-destruct. You don't log into your account for this period of time, it's gonna delete all your information. Right, let's talk about some more privacy and security settings. First of all, of course, blocked users is people that you block. That's self-explanatory. Now, phone number. Who can see your phone number? You can sell it to everyone or only your contacts or nobody. Obviously, you pick the best option for you. And the nice thing is with all of these security and settings options, you can set a global rule, but you can also add exceptions, which is really, really nice and a good way to, as you go through all of these, like last seen online. Does everybody need to know when you were last seen online? Or maybe only your contacts. Maybe nobody needs to see it. Maybe only family members need to know when you were last online. Well, the nice thing is with Telegram, you have options. You can select the stuff that really, really works for you. What I will note on something on last seen online, if you select nobody, well, then it's kind of reciprocal. If you're not sharing your information, well, then you're not going to see other people's information. So kind of use the options that best suit you and your needs. But you have options. Did I mention you have options? I think I did. You have options. Normally, I hate groups on chat messages, but with Telegram, it's amazing. You can go and create a new group give it a group name of course you can upload a photo to this now that's pretty much normal we're used to this facility but with telegram it goes much further you can enable people to become admins of this particular group and long hold on their name promote to admin and now you can enable or disable whatever they can and cannot do like bad users delete messages etc so somebody else can help you manage a group you can also change permission for individual person. Someone sending way too many stickers, well, remove that option for them. This is really, really cool. Something that I really love within groups is the ability to run a poll. So my family group, for example, I can say, hey, what's for dinner? And tacos, pizza, burgers, and everybody can vote and we make a decision. But of course, you can see the business case examples that can be derived out of using polls. Really, really powerful. And groups are just done so well on Telegram. Let's go into chat settings and here is where you start playing with text size, with the background, with the color themes. The idea here is that your telegram should feel welcoming and should be the way that you want your telegram messaging to look and feel like. It's all about security. Hopefully that was useful for you. Check out more security tips and tricks down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.